Hello everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today I want to go over a 3D uh, lighting setup called a three-point lighting setup. And this is a traditional basic lighting setup that works in pretty much all situations, especially when you have something front and center that you want to light up. It contains three uh, lights at certain points, and it's... Um, it covers all the shadows and uh, blo blocks out hard shadows and everything like that. So I'm going to show you how to set this up so you can light up your 3D logos and everything pr uh, properly so that they look professional and nice. So what I have here is some text and then I have some vectors that I converted into a 3D. So if I use my camera here to just like look around real quick. Um, I've got the 3D on, so it's going to take a, a second to render every time I kind of do something. But you can see that we've got some 3D objects and 3D text here. Now, if you want to, you can just uh, use uh, 3D text to follow along. You don't need to have the vectors, but I just threw them in there for good measure so you can uh, see them a little better. So I've got a camera here also that is uh, set to the 35 millimeter preset because I wanted it closer to the uh, objects here and um, I'll uh, start by going over the different kind of lights and what they are and then we'll set them up. So I'm gonna go into my top view here and show you my lighting setup. Looks like we're headed into the top view now. There we go. So I've got the camera back here and that's right here and it's just on right on the objects right in front of them. And then I've got a, uh, three lights. There's two in the front illuminating the front, and then there's one in the back illuminating up some uh, lights and setting it off the background. So the different types of lights are set at different um, intensities to not like blast each other out or blow out the camera and to help uh, illuminate the person so they're not like really have hot spots or have uh, like dark spots on their face which would look unnatural but we need to pull them off the background and pull them out and make sure they look nice so we need to add the camera or the lighting so there are three different types of lights the there is a key light which is your main light and that's this light right here and I'm using spotlights for all these because that's pretty much what you you would be using in a studio so this lighting setup is based off a lighting setup that you use in like a real film studio when you're setting up actual lights in real life they're gonna be on like tripods or light stands or anything like that so this light here is your key light this is the primary light and it's going to be um, usually opposite the camera so the camera right now is head-on so it's going to be to the left of the camera so this is the camera here and then this is the key light now I aimed it so it's right at the uh, point of interest here I mean I could move it a little more into the middle but I liked how it was with the uh, cone angle and everything like that so I'm gonna go into the settings and show you what I have here I have the uh, color is at white, which um, which you want to usually have that at. Intensity is at 100%. Then I've got my cone angle at 70 and cone feather at 50. Now, the cone feather I didn't worry about too much. I also made sure it, it casted shadows. So here's my shadow darkness and diffusion. So, so that's uh, my uh, key light settings. Hit OK. So that's your main light. That's the one you want to have at 100%. The next one across from it, this is called the fill light. And when the when you have the key light on, it's going to cast some uh, hard shadows on the object. It, or it may not illuminate everything that you need to have illuminated because of the shadows. So this light is called the fill light. And it's basically called the fill light because it fills in the shadows created by the key light. So it's everything's even across the subject. So what we want this to be, and I'm going to open up the settings for you. 
I made it a little bit of a warmer color and uh, make it the, the, a color that looks good with your um, object here. I have browns and uh, brown is a kind of a closer color to some skin and stuff like that so I made it a, like a warmer color. Now if you have something like ice or that you like an icy logo or a watery logo you might want to use like a blue uh, fill light and I barely brought this up so it's like barely more than white it's kind of like a I don't know like an orange cream color now my intensity is at 50 percent you want your intensity of your fill light to be at 50 percent of what your key light is so make that basically half of what your key light is and then everything else I have about the same now you want it positioned across from your key light in an in like an angle that is uh, somewhere on like this half of the screen so uh, I can't show you in this but I was gonna try to draw a box but this takes too long in this so uh, I'm not going to but you want to have it on the opposite side on the opposite half it could be could be up here and angled more more in if you wanted it to be I really hate this uh, how it updates every two seconds it's really annoying especially when you're like not even really looking at it so you can have it over here angled to the side like this whatever gets the um, lights whatever gets the shadows filled in that you need to get filled in and however it you want it to make it look so it looks nice